What's a good rock well? If you use mild steel when you stamp your parts, you probably have seen Rockwell hardness test results on your mill certs, or maybe you've even run a quality check on incoming metal and determined the Rockwell on your own. Let's see if this sounds familiar. After running a batch of steel with a lower Rockwell, all the parts were formed without splits. But you had a handful of problems after you ran a different batch with a higher Rockwell. This may have led you to thinking that there is a cutoff that you need a Rockwell less than a specific value in order to make parts. Let's learn a little more about what goes into Rockwell hardness testing. On the Rockwell B scale, a sixteenth of an inch diameter ball is pressed into the sheet surface with a force of 10 kilograms or 22 pounds to establish a reference position. An additional 90 kilograms or 200 pounds of force is applied and then removed. The difference in penetration depth between these two loads is measured automatically by the test equipment and then is plugged into a standard equation where the output is the Rockwell B hardness. Digging a little deeper, let's compare a Rockwell B40 with a Rockwell B50. You'd probably be inclined to think the Rockwell 40 steel will form better than the Rockwell 50 steel. Well, to get that Rockwell B of 40, the penetration depth must have been 0.18 millimeters, which is the same thing as 180 microns. For a Rockwell B50, the penetration depth is 0.16 millimeters or 160 microns. So the difference between a Rockwell B40 and a Rockwell B50 is a difference in penetration depth of only 20 microns, which is less than 8 tenths of a thousandth of an inch and under a quarter of the diameter of a human hair. So when you say that there is a significant forming difference on coils of steel with a 40 versus 50 Rockwell B hardness, you are literally splitting hairs. Some of the other issues related to hardness testing include for the Rockwell B40 reading to be valid, your sheet thickness must be 1.8 millimeters or thicker according to ASTM specifications for hardness testing. Then, a coil of steel is over a mile long and there can be 10 or more coils per heat. So just how representative is your hardness reading? And finally, hardness is an indentation test. It is the wrong test to use to replicate sheet metal drawing or stretching. You can learn more about sheet metal formability at learning4m.com. Created using Powtoon.